what's up welcome back to the channel my name is Simon Servita let's make a beat today we're gonna make something I haven't made on this channel yet reggaeton 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 beats reggaeton 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 if you aren't familiar with the genre a couple popular reggaeton artists are Bad Bunny Selena Gomez Justin Bieber in terms of tempo a good range is anywhere between 80 and 100 so I want mine to be a little bit upbeat so let's do it at 100 we're gonna start with jumps first because the rhythm is what really defines the genre let's start with the kick and a snare and the snares in this genre are really tight so I have this nice short snare here they also have a bit of low frequency so I'm gonna move this down a bit and layer that right under now in reggaeton music they do this rhythm called tresillo 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 I'm gonna slow this down so you can really hear the difference so normally when we listen to music in this time signature we divide it into four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four in that rhythm it's divided into three three and then two let's accent those strong ones now one two three one two three one two so that's the rhythm now and that's where you're gonna hear those strong beats and points of emphasis once again let's hear the difference so this one's accenting every four okay and then this one is the three three two and that's pretty much the rhythm we're gonna follow for our kick and snare so one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two For the kick and snare, you can pretty much do any kind of combination as long as you're emphasizing those strong beats. So we can do the kick and the snare like that. That's cool. Maybe we do this. We can do the kick twice. I kind of like that one. Another popular one is when the kick just plays quarter notes. So those are all really good. Or we do that. And then on the last one, we'll change it up slightly. Mm. And that's pretty much the main balance. As long as you're accenting that 3-3-2 rhythm, you should be good. I noticed that they really like shakers, so let's put that in. Just layering a hi-hat right over it, just for a bit more high-end presence. So the rhythm is what really defines the genre, but in terms of melody, you have a lot of options. You can make it dark and moody, or you can make it summery and vibey. It's really up to you. I went for a really upbeat tempo, so I think it'd be good if I went for something more happy. Uh, maybe some guitar, because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> this thing dusty as shit. How do I do that on here, though? That's doing that. So that has to go up to. Okay, there we go. Oh, hammer that? Okay. Ooh. Okay, I got something that's super, super poppy. That sounds good. Like, in theory, <laughs> I can play it. If you guys are like me, and you're really trash at playing an instrument, record it at a very low tempo. Then just bring it back to normal once you're done. There we go. Okay, I think we have, we have enough. Set it to stretch, we'll go back to our original tempo. Now I sound like a regular guitar player. One of this, one of this, one of this, one of this one more time with this on top of it. There we go. Okay, so that is our loop. That's clean. Bass lines for this genre are really simple. They don't do 808, so we're just gonna get a sub bass from Serum. So we're just gonna have a sine wave. Let's just kind of follow the chord progression. I might make everything a bit lower. Yeah, this is a lot sexier. This is a sexy key. Interesting. That's an interesting sound. There. Ooh. Yeah. Let's add more stuff. Like, yeah, something like this. like one or two extra instruments. Mm. 
Hmm, that's kind of clean. Let's do that. Yeah, we're gonna have that just chill in the back. Yep, that's very subtle. Let's do one more. Excuse me? Tempo's 100. What's happening? Why you do that? If it does it again, the video's over and this is gonna be the preview. What the hell was that? Really, really quiet. So quiet, I don't even know why I made it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, we start off with the guitar. Let's make like a little drum build up. Uh, to da, 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 bam. So we export that. Boom. Bam. Well, let's get a drum fill there. Nope. Kind of. That one works. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Guys, I'm super excited to announce that I'm dropping my first ever music production course called Pro Level Beats. It's pretty much all the knowledge I've learned over the last 10 years when it comes to music theory and composition and beat making. It's over 50 videos with hours and hours of content for you guys. It's a very streamlined course. We start all the way at the beginning when we're learning the notes on the piano, and then it goes all the way over to dominant half major sharp 11, 17 chords. And similar to this video, we do a lot of deep dives into different genres. And not only that, I actually teach you guys how to listen and dissect those genres on your own. So if you're a beginner or a more intermediate producer, Producer, I think this course would be amazing for you. And I genuinely think that this course can change your life. So the course isn't out yet. It's going to be coming really, really soon. But once it's out, I'm going to update the description and the pinned comment and you can check it out there. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.